I'm ready for it. Let's go. <laughs> All right, here we go. It says, hey, Brock, my boyfriend wants to propose to me with his late mother's old ring, and I'm not really loving this idea. I have nothing against his family. In fact, I love them, but I don't want her ring. I want my own. I tried to hint that I'm not on board with this, but I don't think I'm getting through. He seems very set on this idea, and I'm nervous that he's going to ask me with it. Any advice on how I can bring this up without hurting his or his family's feelings? Thank you guys for these segments. I love hearing people's stories. This was written in by Ellie, and she's 26 years old. What do we think about this oh. one, Brock? <laughs> this is a good one, and I'll tell you one of the reasons I'm, I'm enjoying this one so much is because usually the topics that we're talking about are are like middle or early stage dating. This is kind of like down the home stretch. Like you're looking at the proposal, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So I'm really, really looking forward to this topic. Um, Ellie, I asked a lot of my friends, a lot of followers on, on my social media, and they're kind of divided on how this should go, but I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think. Um, first of all, congratulations on getting this far into the relationship. That's definitely, uh, that's definitely awesome. Um, but yeah, you're definitely in a little bit of a tricky situation, uh, being that you don't want to upset the family, but you also are really wanting, obviously, to get engaged. Like, you know, would this be something that would throw the whole thing off? Hopefully not. But I'm going to give you my advice on this. I think that at the core of every successful, uh, you know, the foundation to any successful relationship is the ability to compromise. And I think that this is an amazing opportunity for you two to find a compromise. And a compromise that I had someone suggest to me that I thought was actually a really good idea was maybe instead of him giving you the ring as the proposal ring, maybe you make a suggestion that you'd like to wear it on the wedding day or like you put it on, like that's, that's when you wear it. But I think that there was something in your message that, that really jumped out at me is that You've been hinting. Guys are horrible with hints. <laughs> Guys really, really, really need you to be super clear. Stand up for what you think. Stand up for how you feel because we just we don't pick up on the subtleties, especially if we have our mind made up on an idea. Like it's, that's probably why he's not going to pick up on it. So I think having a compromise, saying something along the lines of, "I, I really love the idea of having a, your mother's ring, but I also love." being my own person and you know I'm an individual with my own taste and likes I'd really like to have my own ring as well what I would love to do is you know and then like I said segue that into that suggestion of let me wear her ring on our wedding day but I'd really like to have my own ring as a proposal and you know see kind of how he feels about it that way I think that's that's how you get the best of both worlds you get what you need what you want and he gets what he wants and what he needs and that way you don't have to be like disrespectful and i think that the family can also respect that as well um but again i, I completely understand that this is a very tricky topic um, in general but again this is one of the great opportunities for you guys to one have the communication a lot meaning don't give hints be very very upfront about how you're feeling but also finding that compromise being able to compromise in a relationship and you can ask anybody that, that's been married for any amount of time, how important is being able to compromise? And then you say, that's like top two. You gotta be able to compromise. So this is one of those really great opportunities for you guys to compromise on something that's really, truly important. So I hope that really helps you out. And uh, yeah, I, I'm really glad that you sent this, this question because it got a lot of people talking, it really did. Excellent. Thank you so much, Brock. And thank you to Ellie for writing in. Again, if you have a dating or relationship question at any point of your relationship, you know these questions pop up, feel free to send us an email and Brock will be happy to tackle that for you. That is Gino, G-I-N-O at WDODradio.com. And you can also find the link up on our Facebook page and our Instagram. And we will post up these, uh, all this advice that Brock's giving us. Brock, have your website, of course, BrockOlson.com. You're always giving dating advice. I know you do some speed dating events that are coming up in the near future. And of course, um, your podcast, and you always got something going on. Yeah, I always try to have something so people are getting some some valuable content from somewhere. Like you said, at some point in the relationship, so I try to cover from from front to back. And also do that one on one coaching too for those that are looking to get out there and, and start that dating track again. Absolutely, Brock. Thank you so much for the time. We'll talk to you next week. Sounds good, Gino. Thank you.